Let's get right to that breaking news in Norfolk where this afternoon four children became the latest victims of gun violence. It happened around 2 o'clock on Madison Avenue. That's right off Park and Corpru Avenues. This is just the latest in a series of violent crimes across the seven cities over the last few weeks. Adriana Diablo is live from the scene now with an update. Adriana. Hey, Nicole, well, police tell us that when they got here, they didn't find any of the injured children. They say that someone had already driven them to nearby hospitals in a car, but we know that this happened during a gathering inside of a home. They say that it appeared to be over an altercation, and let me just move out of the way so you can see what's going on out here now. The crime scene has gotten much smaller, but police are still here, and the community is left devastated. It's another tragedy among youth in Norfolk. Neighbors standing by anxiously. Children looking out at the community they live in. Four children shot this afternoon inside of a home during a gathering off of Madison Avenue. They're all alive. The youngest, a six-year-old girl, is now in stable condition after suffering life-threatening injuries. A 14-year-old boy, 16-year-old girl, and 16-year-old boy were also shot. One of the children shot is Monty Bay's family member. Yes, yeah, my niece. Her birthday just passed. She still got her whole life ahead of her. Police say the shooting happened after an altercation, and it appears to be domestic. It happened less than 24 hours after Norfolk Police Chief Larry Boone sat at a roundtable to discuss gun violence among the youth. Gun violence with our youth, particularly our African Americans, youth is problematic. It always has been. It's nothing new. We'll, we'll do this thing we're doing right now and we'll do it again and we'll do it again until there is true uh, synergy to address this issue. Bay in tears. His niece who was shot was supposed to be at his house visiting today. He regrets that she wasn't. Instead, getting a call that someone shot her. My body just went limp and um, I just, all I could think about was just talking to the most high, the God, and just asking them to, you know, hail her. This community devastated that multiple children have become victims of yet another violent shooting. And Chief Boone tells us they are still trying to find the suspect, but he says they are confident they will find that person soon. We're live in Norfolk. Adriana the Alba, 13 News Now. And we have a number of crews on scene covering this story. We'll have constant updates online and on our app as well as tonight on 13 News Now at 11. Last night was also filled with violence in Hampton Roads. In Chesapeake, two men, a boy and a girl, were shot on Seaboard Avenue around 8.30. One man did not make it. There were two shootings in Hampton, a 19-year-old fighting for his life after getting shot while in his car. That happened just after one on Highland Avenue. A 27-year-old also got hit by gunfire while he was walking on West Queen Street. We're told he should survive. And in Portsmouth, a man is dead after a shooting on the corner of Connor Place and Alwyn Road. That's in the Craddock neighborhood. Most of these cases are still unsolved and police are asking anyone who knows anything to call the crime line. That number is 1-888-LUCK-YOU-UP. You can remain anonymous and there could be a cash reward.